Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about some um, charms that I made using frosted rough and ready shrinky dinks. And I got this from Michaels. And you can use your coupon for it. But I want to... I did a live today showing everybody how to use your embossing tool. So yes, you can use an embossing tool. You don't need an oven for it. And this is what it looks like pre-shrunk. I just stamped it. I use a Simon Says stamp. Um, sweater stamp. And then I used a Snow and Cocoa stamp for this bear. So this is what it looks like all cut up. And let me show you what it looks like. Let me see. Uh, let me get an identical one. This is what it looks like all shrunk as a charm. I think it's so cute. And I added it to my tassel because it is embellishment week. I am adding it to some tassels. I want to show you guys what we have. So that's what, what I have. Let me make, I made some more. This bear is so cute and they're so adorable mixed in with the tassel. I hope that inspired you to use your your felt and your shrinky dinks. If you have any um, shrinky dinks now come in printables. So if you're using your AC digital printables, it will be an amazing idea to do that and to mix it all up. I just stamped a bunch of images on the shirt. I thought it was so cute. I just wanted to show you guys what we have. I did a lot of shirts because I thought the shirts were so adorable. Um, so cute. This is what I made during the live. I made some houses during the live. And I also made some tassels. Um, I made these tassels during a previous video. So I'm just adding them all together just so they look a little bit cohesive and it works very well with snow and cocoa this is the snow and cocoa deer and they're so small sorry about my nails i haven't done my nails yet but anyway the show must go on so cute right there so i did a lot and then so these ones are the right there and then some are with the rosettes so these are rosettes plus tassels plus charms. So I thought this is so cute, like a complete set right there. Here's another one with the car from Snow and Coco and another tassel. So pretty much I'm adding them all together. Um, so I thought it was a great idea to do that. It's so cute. And the girls... Um, during my life gave me that idea right there so beautiful i hope um that inspired you and you can add it to any of um these are some these are some of ruffled some uh ruffled paper that i created and then i added some of these shrinky dink charms and just layer them all right here um here's another this one does not have a charm i was thinking of putting one um but this is a ruffled paper embellishment that you can put anywhere here's one that i directly put the um on the bottom uh, another ruffled paper with some rosettes and it's heavily embellished not sure if i like that but that's okay <laughs> Here is a ruffled paper combination with a tassel and a charm right there. So this is probably going to go towards a bag topper more, more likely a, a bag topper because it's so big or a paper bag. Here is a mason jar that has the charm. I thought it was so cute. That bear is adorable. And it was able to get a lot of details actually here's just a hand draw hand drawn tree that i shrunk and then it's attached to this rosette i think that is all i created with these shrinky dink charms i'm 
I hope that inspired you guys to use your scrap stash and I'm gonna put a link down below for some shrinky dinks if this is something you're interested in um, anyway I hope you can join if you're not joining I hope you can join hashtag Christmas in July 2020 PHA challenge we would love to be um, part of your experience with Christmas in July we're here to inspire and be inspired by each other and it's a wonderful crafting community so if you want to join just use the hashtag in your videos we're going to be doing a lot and this week is embellishment week and so that is why we have all these embellishments I hope that you enjoyed this project share and that is it for me guys this is Christian signing off have a wonderful wonderful crafty day and I hope you got inspired to use your scrap stash if you have any questions let me know down below and I would love if you subscribe to my channel that would be super awesome thank you so much guys have a wonderful crafty day bye